everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my perfume. I'm basically just going through and showing you guys my perfume collections, some of my favorite, favorite scents and items. So if you're excited to see what I have in my perfume collection, then go ahead and keep watching. 2,000 years later. All right, so we're gonna get started. I did hop off camera and put on some mascara because I looked a little dead. The first and my favorite perfume is missing. One of my daughters has taken it. I do not know where it is, but it is the KKW Diamond um, collection, but it's just the Courtney one. I don't have the other two. It's the yellow one, and it looks like this. If you can see that it's yellow. I don't know that you can, but it is this shape and it's yellow. So it is, the top is golden currant berries. The middle is yellow jasmine, yellow bird magnolia, yellow flag iris, and the base is white patchouli, soft musk, and whipped vanilla. That is literally my absolute positive favorite perfume out of my entire collection. It was $40, I believe. Yeah, $40. And it was... It's so amazing. Like I have to buy another one because I'm running out of it. It's so, so nice. It is really super small. The only thing that I hate about it, and I know this sounds petty, is you can't stand it up. You have to lay it flat. So for me, trying to like make my perfumes look so pretty on my shelf, it just kind of doesn't really work. So it just lays there and you can barely see it. So the next one that is my favorite is the Black Opium by YSL. And this one, ugh. Oh my gosh, she's so good. Smells so good. Oh, she's so pretty. So this one, my main reason for buying this was because I had several samples that I had gotten from um, Sephora, I believe. I don't know, somewhere. I got a ton of them and it smelled so good. I wore this every day until I ran out of samples, but I think that the packaging or the container it's in is so sleek and so pretty. It's actually the only black perfume bottle that I own. Most of them, like female fragrances, are very like pinks and pretties and golds, but this one I thought was super sleek and super cute. I love like the glitter effect. I love this where I can see that it's getting lower. And this one was $128. And it says fragrance family warm and spicy scent type warm and sweet gourmands. I don't know. A lot of these words I'm going to butcher through this whole video. So if you don't like when people mispronounce words, you're going to have to hop off here because it's going to be bad. I try. So the key notes in here are black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. I guess vanilla is my thing. I guess that is because I, I love vanilla, but I don't like like a vanilla body spray, like Bath and Body Works vanilla sprays. I don't like they're too sweet but it's so weird because like all the scents I'm reading have vanilla. So this, the next one is Chance by Chanel. They have several colors, but this is the yellow golden one. I think they have a pink one and they had a green one, which I did not prefer. This one was $138. It is definitely one of my favorite. This is another warm and spicy fragrance family. Scent type is warm floral, which I usually don't care for too much of a rosy scent but it has like that just perfect floral scent that it's not too strong and it smells really, really nice. So the keynotes in this one are jasmine, pink pepper, and vanilla. <laughs> vanilla is apparently my thing. It is my thing. Okay, so the next one, I've actually had this for quite a long time. It is a very, very heavy perfume. This is the Lancome La Vie Est Belle. I'm trying, I'm trying. This is $123 and this one is warm and spicy as well. Scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. Keynotes are iris, vanilla, and praline. This one, it was, if I'm not mistaken, one of my very first super, super expensive, like luxury perfumes. And it's one of the perfumes that kind of got me to stray more away from body sprays and more into actual perfumes. I just don't like body sprays. I don't care for them as much. I feel like you just have to spray so much on to get that smell. And I also kind of sometimes feel like, don't take offense to this, but I feel like I almost smell like a teenager when I'm wearing these. Where like these perfumes, I feel like a woman, a grown adult. So I don't know, that's my personal opinion that is just the way that it is so so the next one is the Prada candy gloss this one I accidentally got 
by mistake. I meant to get a different one. I had gotten a sample and I really liked it. This is a very cute bottle and literally that's the only reason I use it. I do not use this perfume. I thought that it was a different wine. They have two different candies or several different candies and I got the wrong wine and I just don't care for the scent but it is a very like just beautiful and like aesthetically pleasing bottle so that's what I keep it for. This one was $102 and the fragrance family is warm and spicy, warm and street gourmands. The keynotes here are cherry, peach, and musk. I just, I don't, it's like the first smell is nice. And then after that, I just get an overwhelming like baby powder scent. So, and I don't do baby powder. I don't like the smell of it, so I just, I don't use it. I grabbed the wrong one, and I actually never went back to get the other one either because I was like, oh, okay. And then my husband's like, well, why don't you just return it? And I'm like, no, God, please, no, no, no. What? Return it? Like just the, the hassle, the f having to return something is literally, it just makes me cringe. I don't like it. I don't like to have to do it. So it is basically a decoration. God, what is wrong with me? So the next one is actually a newer one, very inexpensive. Um, it's called Crazy in Love. I have no idea I guess who makes this it's by inner perfumes usa i don't know i got it from tj maxx for 9.99 i was in the perfume aisle and i've never really checked out their perfume because i'm just like oh it's probably old and it smelled so good so good and this is like one of my favorite now for like 10 bucks i was so excited so this is a burst of violet pineapple and citrus awakens into a lovely scent the lasting notes of musk, amber, and raspberry promise to make you crazy in love. It's, it smells so good. It has like a sweet citrusy scent to it and it is just so good and it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. But it was very inexpensive so I was like, yes, please. So this is another really old one and I don't even use this one that much anymore. This is the one of the creme nudes. It was their Max Shade Scents. So I remember when Katie and Desi, I used to watch them all of the time, all of the time. Uh, they were like my go-to YouTube watching. I don't really watch them much anymore, but I just, I used to watch them all of the time and they just recommended this so much. So this one is, it says the key note is a velvet musk, but it doesn't really go into like anything else on here, I guess, cause they don't really sell it anymore. Yeah, so Velvet Musk, basically this came out, if you have no idea what this is, many years ago, this came out with like a lipstick and there were three different ones, a red one and a lipstick, a pink one and a lipstick, and then this nude one and a lipstick. I did not get the lipstick. It was a very, very, very light nude, but I remember being so, ugh, ugh, ah! being so, into the scent only because I think it was Desi. No, it had been, Ka I think it was Katie. I think it was Katie. Like she raved about this and how good it smelled. And like, I would tell myself, like it smelled so good. It does not smell that great. And it may be that it is fairly old, um, but she does not smell that great. I will tell you that. And I think it was like, I wanna say it was around $30, maybe like 30 to 50. I know that's a large gap, um, but Macy still has it. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, these were so old, like they, they were old. Um, but I just, I told myself how much I loved it and I don't think that I actually did, so. There's so that. This is the Katy Perry Killer Queen. This is a roll-on ball. My daughter actually got this from my uncle on Christmas from a bunch of different things um, that she got in this little kit. And she did not care for it, but I think it smells so good. And I was like, oh yes, give me more perfumes. I don't really do the rollers, but every now and again. Oh, it smells. It smells so good. I love this. Let's see the scents of this one. Killer Queen. 
apparently you can get the whole thing on Amazon right now. It's like a little crystal ball. I'm trying to see if it tells me like anything about the notes. So it says gorgeous oriental fragrance and that's all it says on Amazon because I don't see it anywhere else on the internet so that's what we're going with man it's a floral I definitely can smell the floral but it's so it's one of those perfumes that have to breathe so here we go here we go top notes the scent sparkles with a captivating sweet tart aroma of deli delicate lady apples and dreamy water lily kiss lightly Kiss lightly by golden apricot and mandarin meringue. I feel like you could just tell me what it is. I think that was a lot. But like I was saying, it's definitely one of those perfumes that need to breathe. Like when you first spray it, you're just like, oh, that's kind of like, that's weird. But then as you, like you sit there and you're just like, oh, she smells so good. And I just like move, like smell me, smell this. I'm, I am one of those people. Like I want you to smell me before you see me like know that I'm coming because you smell something so so delightful so the next two are actually both Ariana Grande perfumes uh, I did not think that I would care for these perfumes the way that I actually care for these perfumes okay so the first one is what is this called this is the cloud perfume it came with a, this little like like a white cloud holder and while well, I'm not six so I took it off and it just sits on my dresser like a normal adult perfume but it does have a cute little cloud here and I think it's so cute it's definitely like my only blue 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 like translucent blue perfume it's so pretty this one was $64 and her fragrance family is floral it's warm and sweet gourmand I think that's my thing. I don't know what Gourmand is, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. And if I'm saying that wrong, please tell me down below so I can tell myself how stupid I sound. Um, and the keynotes are the top is lavender pear, the middle is coconut, praline, and vanilla orchid, and then the base is cashmere. Excuse me, Ariana. It's a very nice scent. Um, it's oh, another one of those, like the Katy Perry, where it has to breathe. Like when you first spray it, you're just like, mmm. Mm, and then as the day goes, it just smells better and better. I love it. So the next Ariana perfume is this one. I'm missing the lid because I would carry this with me everywhere. I wish that I could have got, that I would have gotten a travel one. It is so good, so good. And it's so stinking cute. So cute. Do not be fooled. You can't squeeze it with this. I was super excited. And you can remove this if you don't like it, but I do like it. I wish I still had the lid. It's actually almost empty and I'm gonna have to get another one because I refuse to have her discontinue this perfume and then I not have it. So if you're listening, Miss Grande, I am gonna need you not to discontinue this. Whew, heaven. So this one is called Sweet Like Candy and it is the $64 one that so we have. The Fragrance Family, the Fragrance Family is Oriental. Uh, the scent type is Sweet Gourmand. The top notes are Sparkling Blackberry, Italian Bergamot Pear. We're gonna pretend like I didn't say that. I don't know what that word is. Bergamot. Bergamot. Oh, so I pronounced it right. All right, let's try the Gourmand. The Gourmand. Oh, it means greedy. Ooh. Gourmand. Gourmand. I'm sorry, what? Gourmand. There's no D at the end. That is what that is. At least I was right with the Bergamot. Back to what we were doing. So the middle is Jasmine Sambac. Sambac? Frangi Pani? Frangani? I don't know these words. Dewy Honeysuckle. Know that one. The base is Creme de Cassis, Marshmallow, Cashmere Woods, and Sexy Vanilla. Ooh. Is that just like vanilla and like she just put that in there because she like wants to make me feel some type of way about myself because I did. I did for a second. I was like, oh. So the last brand is KKW Fragrance. I have quite, quite a bit of those. So we're gonna go through. I do have all of the pink hearts. I mean, all of the sweetheart candy ones. So we're gonna go through those and I will tell you which ones I love the most. So my favorite one out of the collection is Wifey and she actually just restocked this one. So I'm assuming it is a very popular scent. This one is literally of all of them, my number one favorite. And this one is a de delicious floral gourmand 
fragrance that excludes that excludes a feminine soft tenderness and a modern glow so the top is crisp yuzu vibrant pomelo and violet leaves the mid is dewy freesia creamy magnolia and mimosa the dry is patchouli soft musk and whipped caramel this is $35 it smells divine the second one of my favorite is the ride or die which is the purple one these are $30 a piece I don't know if I said 35 or 30 but they are $30 a piece I got them in a bundle but they are 30 each and I know you can get three of each for like $80 or something. This one is no longer available on her website, so I'm kind of searching the interweb to try to figure out what the scent is. They were called the Kimoji Hearts. That's what they were called. So this one, it says, offers a delectable opening featuring luscious blackberry and juicy purple plum. The heart is fierce with notes of night blooming jasmine and raspberry nectar. Caramel swirls paired with tonka bean adds depth and elegance to the signature finish so it doesn't really tell me in depth like the other ones did just because like I said I just googled this she's so good so then my next favorite from that this collection is BFF which is the pink one so this one is still available on the website and it is $30 as well the top is wild berries pink currant star apple the mid is pink rose petals jasmine sambal pear blossom and the dry is cedarwood marshmallow vanilla accord and musk she smells so good the next ones they were okay i do use them i just don't reach for them as much as i do those three so this one yeah this one's weird this one is a weird one i think this was my least favorite which was baddie okay so this one i also have to google because it is not available on the website and it says top note is palm leaf, middle notes are wild rose, geranium, and iris, and the base notes are musk, amber, and woodsy notes. So I just was not the biggest fan of that scent at all. I just, I think I've worn it like twice. My girls like that one actually, I just don't care for it. So the next one is the blue one in Bay, and this one is still available as well. And the top notes are bergamot, juicy mandarin, kiwi flower, or or per o r p u r the middle is jasmine sabanc gardenia blossom coconut water and then the dry is whipped vanilla white sandalwood and musk i don't remember this scent i don't remember it i'm gonna my husband's gonna come in here and be like what were you doing oh that's actually not bad oh that's not bad why don't I wear this one? That's not bad at all. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I like that. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I don't like the orange one, still. <laughs> okay, so the last one of this collection is Baby Girl, and this also is $30, not available on the website from what I'm seeing. And it says the top notes are fruits and citruses, middle notes are peony, jasmine, and lily of the valley, and the base notes are vetiver, vetiver, vetiver? vetiver i don't know musk and crystal ember ember amber crystal amber no yep i didn't like this one that much either so this one is just a collector piece as well i do not like her she's very strong very 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 strong so i have two more and then we're done this is a very long video i didn't think it was going to be as long as it was so so this is actually a newer one she just launched these recently for this valentine's day these are the new hearts the like um metallic -y. this one's the rose gold she has gold and then she has silver so i got this one because the other two are not available at my ulta like i said in a video i think i did like an unboxing or something i'll put that here um basically they had all displayed but they're like we're only carrying the rose gold one the other ones you have to buy online then why do you have them displayed I mean, I guess because I got to smell them. I didn't like the silver one too much, but the gold one I am ordering because it smells so good. It smells so good. This one does too. So this one is the Floral Family. This was $30 as well. And the top is Glistening Lemon Pear Water, Shimmering Bergamot, Pink Peppercorn. The middle is Silk Peony Buds, Rose Concentrate Pink Tagetti, Tagetti, Tagat, I don't know, T-A-G-E-T-E. And then the base is pure white moss, warm benzone, modern glossy musk. I don't know what any of those mean. It smells so good. She's one of the, this one is very strong. Like all three of these hearts were very strong. I don't love 
I don't love that this gets like as soon as I touch it it gets fingerprints all over it I have a thing about it and I don't like it so she did this thing she did this where I think this is technically the front of it not this so if you look at the hearts they have these little bump outs where you can lay them like this so I'm assuming this is supposed to be blank um, however I hate I hate that they lay down what is up with her and laying down perfumes I don't understand it like most of them don't stand up I think the body ones do and the mom one does these don't the crystals don't the other ruby crystals don't the other golden diamonds don't none of them stand up what is the deal is there like maybe they're supposed to lay down do they smell better do they last longer kim what's the tea why do all your perfumes need to be laid down because it's just not as pretty that's me being petty like okay so the last one the last one i need to show like the whole the whole get up here okay first of all first of all my husband made this so let's take her out he made this okay him little little crafty self took some woods and some metals like this is a weight so it doesn't tip over anything because it doesn't stand up it doesn't and it bothers me and he knew it he also got me this perfume for one i think it was a couple christmases ago but i was so upset because i couldn't stand it and i was like it won't stand up I don't know why and he brought me this and he spray painted it gold because that is my aesthetic of my things is like white and gold it was the cutest thing in the world that he has probably ever done like he does so many things but this is like one of those things that you remember for the rest of your life because although it's not a super huge gesture it's just one of those things like he took the time out of his day his life to build me this and i loved it i absolutely loved it and i still use it every day with one of my favorite perfumes so this is the crystal gardenia one and I believe this, there were several crystal ones, but I got the gardenia. Also, if you hear my kid yelling, she's losing her mind today, man. I don't know what's up with the kids today, but they're all losing their mind. So good. And also, it's just so sleek and so beautiful. So let's read the notes on this one. This is, the top is pink grapefruit, luscious something pear, watery lily, the middle is timeless gardenia petals, tiara, tiara flower, velvet tube rose, and the dry is sensational sandalwood, solar amber, and skin musk, which kind of sounds disgusting now that I, I read that. This is probably one of my favorite floral smells. Like you can definitely smell the floral in here. And if you go too crazy, you could definitely tell you went too crazy. But it's it's one of my absolute favorite. I love this one. I wear this one constantly it's so cute he's so sweet but it is definitely one of my favorite if i have to pick do or die one of my favorites sitting here right now <laughs> it would be my courtney one that isn't here she's my favorite perfume she is my husband's favorite perfume like every time i spray that on me i'll walk downstairs and he goes courtney and i'm like yes like that's what i mean like i want him to know like that is my woman that is my smell do you know what i mean i don't know i love perfume if you guys love perfumes please comment below and tell me what your favorite perfume is and do you have any of these are we on the same smell scent do we have the same love for apparently vanilla and warm and spicy family scents i'm just saying let me know down below let me know but that is it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video every saturday and i'll see you guys on the next one bye